Okay, next question. So this is the last question on the standard level paper, paper which means it's hard, even for HL guys, this is a hard question. So we have a graph of F, that's this line here. We have a line Y equals X, this is here, and they say that they intersect at this point P here. So find the X coordinate of P is the first question. So where they intersect is where they equal. So I'm just going to equate 90E to the minus 0.5X equals X. This is where y equals x equals y equals this equate them and find the coordinate um, only way to do this guys is on the gdc so i'm going to do menu algebra numerical solve you could graph it but i'm uh, i'm just going to use numerical solve 0.5 x equals x and then comma x and i get 5.5662 5.5662. Okay, or 5.57 to three significant figures per B. The line L has gradient negative one. So this is this line here, negative one. And tangent to F, and is tangent to F a Q, I guess I should say. So this, it's a tangent to F here. So this is, this is, the tangent to the curve. Um, so it gives you the gradient, guys. The gradient is negative one, and it says it's ten. It's a tangent here at Q. Find the exact coordinates of Q. Okay, so the tangent means that it touches the curve exactly once, but more importantly, we say that the derivative of the function gives us the gradient of the tangent at that point. So if I differentiate this, let's do that right now, f dash of x is equal to, well, because it's e, it's going to be 90e to the 0.5x, but chain rule, you have to multiply by the derivative of this, which is times negative 0.5, and that's going to be negative half of 90 is 45, so 45 e to the 0.5x. Now, it says, yeah, so sorry, it says that the, the gradient of this line is negative 1. So that's like saying the derivative of f at q equals negative 1. So I'm going to actually write that down. I'm going to say minus 45 e to the 0.5x equals negative 1. Now note, guys, he says, find the exact coordinates of Q. Now, like here, I said, just use the calculator. But because he said you find the exact coordinates of Q, that's his way of kind of saying, well, you're not using the calculator here. You are going to show all your working. So I'm going to, this is going to become e to the minus 0.5x equals minus 1 divided by minus 45, or just 1 over 45. So then minus 0.5x equals ln of 1 over 45. And then finally x, x equals um, negative 2, because I'm going to multiply across by negative 2 there. So it's negative 2 ln of 1 over 45. Now I can simplify this too, guys. Let me um, let me just remove this. I can simplify this to x equals negative 2 ln of 45 to the minus 1, because this is underneath the line. And then this, using the power of power rule for logs, I can multiply by negative 1, which becomes 2 times ln of 45. Okay, that's the x coordinate, but it says, guys, find the coordinates, so I need to find the y coordinate. So, um, x equals 2 ln of 5. f of 2 ln of 45, sorry, is equal to, I have to sub 2 ln of 45 now into this. So it's 90, 90 times e to the minus. 0 0.5 times 2 ln 45 and this is equal to 
this is equal to 90 e to the power of um, e to the power of negative ln of 45 which is equal to 90 e to the ln of 1 over 45 using the reverse of what I did here and then because e to the ln of x equals x this is just 90 times 1 over 45 which is equal to 2. Therefore, the coordinates of Q are 2 ln of 45, comma, 2. The x-coordinate is 2 ln of 45, and the y-coordinate is 2.